I never really thought about why I like a main character in a film or why I feel like I can relate. Or I never thought to myself, if that wasn't there in place, I wouldn't be able to re relate to the person. But can you kind of expand on what that idea was in the book? Well, I know, I mean, in the book I wrote about how um, the best, the, the main character of the movie, like the star of the movie, is almost like too perfect. Yes, and, exactly. And no one can really be the star, but we can all potentially be the best friend of the star. Right. And the star in a movie um, needs a break sometimes. She or he needs to have someone there to kind of help carry the load of the storytelling. Like sometimes you just need to hear another voice. Right. So you have other characters in movies and a best friend is a good person who can sort of like give exposition to, to push the story along, to remind the friend of all the things that they're doing wrong or doing right or their past. They can inform the audience about what's happening. I mean, like that's all technical, like storytelling, you know, right. because, you know, if I'm the star of the movie, I'm not going to be like, gosh, I did gain a lot of weight when I was 17. And because that's the best friend's role, you know, right. and we can all relate to the best friend probably more than we can relate to the star. And we can also maybe see ourselves being best friends with the star, but it's very hard. Like I can't imagine myself being Julia Roberts, but I can imagine being best friends with Julia Roberts. I can totally see that. Right. I mean, I'm pretty good friends with like some movie stars and in real life. And like, you know, <laughs> like I'm not the movie star. I am the best friend. Like it's kind of, I don't know, life imitates art. But I think that anyone could be a good best friend, but we all can't be the movie star. And that's, I think, the role that the best friend plays for the audience. Mm -hmm.